Good morning, everybody. I want to thank you all for coming here this morning. A little bit of a different change today, but remember, when we first come into chapel, the first thing that we do is we kneel down, fold our hands and say a quiet good morning to God. And then when you're finished, just sit back and wait for everyone else until they're finished. If everyone could go ahead and stand up, we are going to sing praise him and love him this morning. So everyone stand up, come on, stand up. There we go. All right. Are you ready? Here we go. that you all are with me here this morning you probably see it's a little bit different from chapel that we have this morning but we're actually in God's own chapel right here as you can see the beautiful sky we see the crosses behind us and just want to thank each and every one of you for coming here this uh, this fine morning actually I've got a story I want to go ahead and talk to you about today <clears throat> it deals about going on a trip so I remember when I was a little boy, probably about the y'all's ages, that my mom and dad would take my brother and I on a trip somewhere. But before we had actually went on the trip, we need to get a couple, take a couple of things with us. And you can kind of guess the kind of things that we've got. Yes, we had to go ahead and get some water to drink. We had to have some snacks to eat and everything. And then cookies too, we had to have some of those and all. But I remember my dad going ahead and pulling out this thing out of the glove compartment in the car. And it was this big old map. He had this map and it would go and tell him if he looked at that, he said, I would start here and then I'm going to go all the way over to here on the map. So it was kind of telling him, you know, where he was going to end up kind of like here. I don't have one of those maps anymore because I don't think we can find them. But I've got, for example, kind of like when you can see right on here, this is a map of North Carolina that we have. And it shows, and the eastern coast right here. So it's a map. So it kind of tells us where we want to go. But now there's also another thing. If I knew where I wanted to go, that's one thing. But now I also needed to go, what direction am I going to go? Well, if I, want, if I lived here in Raleigh and I wanted to go to the beach, which way would I go? Well, I wouldn't go to the mountains, would I? No, nope, because that's west of here. I wouldn't go north of here because if I went so far north, I'd go to New York. That's not a beach up there. And if I go south, I go all the way down here, I'd be in Atlanta, no beach. But if I went east, I would go and be at the beach. So we have kind of what we have here is a compass that kind of shows you the direction. See, if you move it around, it will show you what direction that you're going in. So you have a map that kind of tells you where you're going to end up. And then we had a compass my dad had that would tell us what direction we needed to go. So we would get to our places and we would, we'd have a ball. We would be getting there and everything else. We'd be stopping on the side of the roads and we'd be seeing all these other things here. So my dad would go ahead and have the, you know, made, made some decisions, had to make some decisions on which way he, we were going and what direction we were going to take. So, you know, 
as we continued to grow up, my brother and I, we had to make a lot of different decisions, just like y'all did too. What you're doing right now, every single day you're making some decisions. And sometimes as we get a little bit older, you know, we have to make some, some easy decisions and some of them, they're, they're kind of difficult. You know, and we don't know which way to turn. So we go ahead and say, hmm, maybe we use our feelings. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's kind of like, well, I feel like I'm going to go and go get a soda. Yeah, I got a feel. That's going to be good for me like that. But we know sometimes those sodas aren't very good for you. But I have this feeling. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. But, you know, sometimes feelings change from day to day. So you have to make a decision like I'm going to go and do this. Well, tomorrow might not be the right decision. Because tomorrow's another day and you say, ooh, that, that was the wrong one to make there. Because if I did that yesterday, ooh, I would have gone ahead and got in trouble. So other th other way, another way to make, let me see, how another way to make a decision. Oh, what's popular? Oh, if you like this kind of a person over here, you know, and you look up to them and you they're doing and things, oh, I'm going to go and do exactly what that person's doing right here. Because I look, all these people like that person. And oh my gosh, I'll be just as popular like that. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna make that kind of a decision. So you go ahead and think, hmm, I'm gonna be popular. And your mom and dad says, no, what are you, why are you doing that? Well, everyone else is doing it, right? Yeah. I remember I did the same thing. Everybody else is doing it, so why can't I? But you know, sometimes if you follow someone because they, you know they're popular, the next day they might not be so popular because something they did wasn't right. So, am I going to do my feelings? Am I going to do my someone that's popular? No, I don't think so. But you know, there is one sure way. We know how to do the right thing and do go in the right direction. And that's to follow Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. If we follow Jesus, we know that we're on the right path and headed in the right direction, right? So you just have to remember, when we go ahead and pray, we say, Dear Father, help us each day to follow Jesus because we know he is the way and the only way. Amen. So let's everybody go and stand up. Um, I kind of want to do a little, maybe a little song. Eric, can you go ahead and pull a song out for us today? What can we do? Hmm. See, I kind of fooled Eric today. He didn't know I was going to do this, but I did. <laughs> <clears throat> and he's the one that's going to be able to. Mm, mm. He's going to try and find one. Let's go. Oh, we're waiting, Mr. Eric. Can you think of it as you can play a few notes? He's getting back at me. Do y'all remember that one? Father Abraham? Here we go. <clears throat> All right, Mr. Eric, hit it. Father Abraham had many sons. Other one said, Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Left foot. Father Abraham had many sons. And many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right foot. Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Left arm. Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Chin up. 
Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Sit down. Woo! I love that song. It's a great one. It's a great one. So, everybody, stand right back up. Let me go ahead and see that tunnel. Make that tunnel kind of peeping through there. Put your pinky up and say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. Uh, the Lord be with you. Let us pray. If we could all kneel down and fold our hands. And we'll say the Lord's Prayer together. Saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So if we can all stand up, we will sing our final song. He's got the whole world in his hands. You ready, Eric? <laughs> He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 He's got the little bitty baby in his hands. He's got the little bitty babies in his hands. He's got the little bitty baby. He's got the whole world in his hands. Let us go forth into the world in peace. Thanks be to God. Bye, everybody. We'll see you next week. Have a great day. Happy Mother's Day. Bye-bye.